Welcome back to Pirouette Pastimes, your favourite dance FMP radio station. We're based at uh, Greater Brighton Metropolitan College Goring Campus, and we're here to discuss everything Final Major Project. Um, I'm covering all the dance FMP students within the first years, second years of the level threes, and the level fours as well. I'm going to start recording. Um, um, so today we're here with, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, Chloe and Becca. Oh, <laughs> um, and today we're going to be conducting an interview based on their FMP and their dance, um, what they're experiencing so far. So to start to start us off, um, what direction have you guys cho- chosen to take for your project? Um, well, my group are doing a piece based on like angels and devils, and like having a person having an angel and devil like on their shoulder all the time. Yeah. And, um, sorry. No, no, carry on, carry on. And, and my piece is based around a girl who loves to dance, but she hasn't got the confidence. So she gets shown loads of different styles and at the end she gains confidence. So did you guys get to like tailor your FMP to do what you wanted in terms of? Um, we got given the stimulus of uh, dancing through life and then we had to build off. And, and how did you like, like make your decision on what you wanted to do? Um, well, we, we both made like PowerPoints of like different ideas and music choices and things like that. And then like finalised it down to the one that we felt more confident with. Nice. And, and you, Rebecca? Um, basically the same because we got set like homework tasks to like do loads of research and like come up with ideas. So I basically did loads of PowerPoints like Chloe with my group. Um, Lash, oh, sorry, my phone just locked itself. So are, are you enjoying the project so far? Yeah. Yeah? What, what's your What's your favorite bit? Um, I think it's just like the choreographing and thinking about different things that we can do and seeing how that develops. Yeah? Is it the same for you? <laughs> Well, because my group are doing loads of different styles, I like to like like choreograph different styles because I'm so used to doing contemporary, whereas I haven't like experimenting with other styles, so I quite like that aspect of it. Amazing. Lush. Um oh, sorry, my phone keeps on locking itself. Um so what have you done so far in like the project up until now? Um so the last few weeks we've just been doing like the PowerPoints and thinking of what we wanted to do. Um, music editing, um, looking at costumes and things like that. And then today we actually started choreographing. Is it difficult to like, so seeing as you're dance students, is it like kind of difficult or annoying the fact that you have to still do music incorporate into it and costumes and and stuff like that? Or is it a balance? Um, It can be stressful at times, but I think once you like, once you've picked a like track, and you edit it, it all like it's better because you don't have to worry about it. And you can just get on with like the choreography and that. Would you say that like you pick like your your song first before you start planning your dance? Would you do a dance then pick your song? Um, a song and then the dance. Wicked. Um, what would you say like your strengths and weaknesses are in relation to the project? Um, I think mine would just be like, I'm not very confident when it comes to choreographing things. Like I always feel like I, like it's not good enough and like it could be better, but like, I just don't know how to make it better or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well, self-doubt is always like a way that's going to push you forward. Cause if you think that it's always going to be perfect, then you won't ever better yourself. And, f- and for you, Rebecca, do you, you um, find it the same or? Mine's more like confidence in the group and like voicing my own opinions and like a bit of doubt as well, like doubting my own opinions. But I tend to shy away. But then like once I have an an idea, I tend to like hide it, which is really not great, but yeah. No, no, that's that's never a good attitude to have, but what can you you say? It's all, it's just life, isn't it? Um, 
how does your your FMP different from like each other's? So like from first year to first year or first year to second year or, or HE? Um, so we don't actually know what the HE are doing, but for second years, the difference between like what they're doing to what we're doing is that we are like, our year group has just been like split into two groups. Whereas the second years, each of them all have a piece. Yeah. Whether it's a solo or whether that it's like a group piece, they're all doing their own, their own, their own dance. Are you looking forward to being like in your second year and have that stress on your shoulders? Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what what challenges have you faced, and how are you, how are these being like overcome? Um, so, for me and my group, um, one of the things that we're having an issue with was like with the costumes because with a devil and an angel it'd be like a red and a white costume but we're not we've like we have we're having difficulty thinking about like what the person in the middle would be wearing so we don't want like a pink to clash with the red and we don't want it to look too weird or anything um and as well as that we're also with the music we're not some of us aren't really like enjoying the music anymore or like having the love that yeah. we found it but we're gonna try and just like try and choreograph bits to it if we then still don't like it then we'll start with a new song would you say it's just getting like overly repetitive to do like the same yeah thing? yeah it's very tedious well i i personally i'd go for like a blue as the as the as the person <laughs> because signifies purity and stuff like that How, what about you rebecca How have you um you i think the hardest thing is like it's the different styles because it's really hard to like because we're doing um contemporary lyrical con commercial and street dance and it's very hard because we're finding at the moment that our, our um street and commercial are looking the same whereas like we have to have the difference with the styles which is quite hard and like it's quite hard to like not like do the same movements over and over again because we're comfortable with them as well would you say like it's harder that the fact that you have like a specific style that you enjoy and that having to learn other styles yeah. as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Would you like, or would you say it's? Would you would you like learning about the other styles? Or would you like to stay in your your comfort zone? Um, I don't mind myself, but there is others in my group that like to stick to like one like style, which is fine because we can like work around it. But yeah. yeah. Um. Amazing. So like how. Well, I don't know. This this one I got off Google, so like I don't know. Um, it says, "How how would you ensure that you stay like fit enough to perform like on a on a regular occurrence?" I just dance loads. Just dance. Try try and eat healthy, but doesn't always work. Always work. <laughs> no, especially when Mackey's reopened for like on the <laughs> straight down to McDonald's. <laughs> what about you, Rebecca? Um, I'm well. We do like work, not so much anymore, but like before um, December, we did loads of workouts in college, which really helped like my stamina build up and my strength. And I think that's really helpful when performing. Yeah. So what 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 kind of area of like, I'm, I'm not saying you do work out, but like if you were to focus on like a workout, which kind of areas would you focus on for dance? It's like your stamina, like your et cetera, or like a run, do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, um, I personally prefer um, cardio over um, ab workouts. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it all depends what you want to work on. So, like, if you want to work on your strength, then the ab workouts and like the core workouts are more beneficial. Whereas, if you want to work on like stamina, then obviously the cardio workout. Lash. Um what's like the best performance you've ever put on then so like elaborate on that um well we've never actually done a show yet um with northbrook and like met and whatnot but um i guess like a show like i've done a few years ago with my dance school maybe yeah what, what did that entail um i was in about five dances and it was just really nice to be on a stage and with my friends at the same time yeah like a new learning curve yeah yeah and you <laughs> i'd 
Wednesday last week because we had our filming for The Hands May Tale, our narrative piece. And I say, I think that's the best I'd ever performed for, because it's different because we were performing for a camera. So I've forgotten like when the last time I performed on stage, but I think it was my best performance because I remembered to like do facial expressions and like get into the character, which was out of my comfort zone. So Yeah, and always nice to push yourself out of the comfort zone. Um, have you ever forgotten any um, steps to a dance? And if so, what happened? Yes. All the time. <laughs> what what um, was the worst occurrence? Just, you just got to like try and get back into it, I guess. And like, if not, if you can't, it's like a solo or something, just improvise. Mm. Yeah. So what, what would you say is like the worst thing to happen when you, when you break the steps? To freeze on the spot and yeah. not do anything. Yeah. Just so, so like, yeah, so just breaking character almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last question. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share before your your showcase? Is there anything else that people may want to know? Maybe any listeners or about your your final performances? Obviously, you're doing it on the stage, aren't you? For your Met Fest. I don't know. <laughs> Never done. Um, surprise <laughs> I think it's quite hard because we've never done it at Norfolk on stage before so we don't know what to expect yeah I thought when because this is my first year as well I thought coming to this college was a bit was a bit like different compared to like most places of education because it's just like so like obviously how I'm interviewing you but it's all incorporating into the final our final project it's all it's all it's all a bit mixed match huh? it's weird but yeah, that is that is my interview done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like I don't, I don't really know how I'm gonna. I don't. Thank you so much, Chloe and Rebecca. We've loved having you on Pirate Pastimes today. You've given a great insight on the courses that we offer here at um, Greater Brighton Metropolitan College, um, especially for brand new students like yourself. Like obviously you're in your first years. Um, you can obviously give your opinion of what it's like to come to such a new environment and such a new college offering um, such a unique course. I think the collaboration aspects and the fact that we all study UAL at this college um, is an understatement and a lot of people, aka new students, won't know about all of this when coming to Matt. So hopefully for all the new listeners, thank you for coming and <laughs> joining us on Pirate Pastimes. If you are listening, um here you you've just had a great insight on what it's like to be a new student on the first year dance course. Um but thank you. Thank you for listening to Pirate Pastimes. Um we love having you you on here. Um enjoy.